Today for Music Myths, there's only one story I'm gonna look into as it's without question the most heavily requested thing I get in any of my videos. When it comes to myths or legends in the history of music, there's one that stands well beyond almost any other. And I'm gonna finally put some of the myths to rest and bring out the truths that do exist within the infamous Led Zeppelin Mud Shark story. Before I go any further, if any of you out there are offended by crude language or crude imagery, you might wanna stop this video and just pick up with us tomorrow. Because honestly, there's really no way to clean this story up. Anyway, there are tons of small variations on this legendary tale of rock and roll madness, but for the most part, it pretty much goes like this. The story says that back in 1969, Led Zeppelin were staying at the Edgewater Inn in Seattle, Washington. This place was famous for housing rock and roll bands as you could quite literally fish out of the windows of your room. Thus far, all of this is true as Led Zeppelin 100% stayed at the Edgewater Inn in Seattle in July of 1969. But this is where the story begins to get a bit murky and, well, kinky. The most common version of the story goes on to say that on the night in question, there were a number of groupies hanging around on their hotel floor. And at some point, one of the band members or one of the crew members pulled a redheaded girl in most of the time named Jackie. And that's where the story really starts to get interesting. In some versions, she gets tied to the bed because she wants to. Sometimes it's against her will. Sometimes she's not even tied up. But in every single case, Jackie ends up on the bed without any clothes on. The story then goes on to say that one of the band members, or perhaps it was manager Richard Cole, took one of the sharks or red snappers that they'd been fishing for out of the window all day, and one way or another found different ways to make them interact with her nether regions. So that's the basic version of this myth. And while some of the small details change, that's generally the story you hear people telling. So the question becomes, where is the truth, if there's any, in this iconic tale of rock and roll bad behavior? Well, like I said, we know the band was there at the time, and Richard Cole and John Bonham were infamous for spending hours fishing out of the windows at the hotel. This claim has been confirmed by so many different people that we can 100% assume that it is absolute fact that the two of them loved fishing out of the windows. Now, on to the incident itself. First off, red snappers are not native to that part of the world. And seeing as four years later, Led Zeppelin was actually banned from the hotel for leaving almost 30 mud sharks lying around the room, I think it's safe to assume that it was not a red snapper and it was 100% a mud shark if this actually happened. So then we move to the female on the bed. Was she there? Was her name Jackie? Was she a redhead? Who exactly was she if she existed? Well, the band Vanilla Fudge were actually in the same hotel and it's largely agreed upon that if it was anyone, it was actually one of their groupies who was the girl in question. Also, there is a long standing claim that this entire incident was filmed with Vanilla Fudge's band manager being the last person to actually have the tape in question, though nobody's ever seen it. To tell you the truth, the question of if there was a female there and what exactly happened to her is a bit hard to confirm because the only people who have really come forward to talk about it absolutely stood to profit off of being that person. There's really no hard evidence either way and no actual band member of Zeppelin ever commented on the record about the incident. But when you put together all the stories and various allusions and comments that people have made over the years, here's my opinion on what happened. I honestly believe that this actually went down, just not to the extent that most people claim. From all the reports and interviews that I've read about this over the years, and knowing a thing or two about rock and roll, I think it's very safe to assume that during the heyday of Led Zeppelin, a female groupie found herself tied to a bed in one of their hotels in Seattle. I also believe that when you think about the people who were probably there, Richard Cole and John Bonham, I really think it's safe to assume that some of the local wildlife did in fact interact with this female in some way or another. I honestly doubt it was as lewd or as excessive as people claim to be, but I'm gonna have to leave this one as myth, though there is a heck of a lot of truth behind it. Maybe one day, the woman in question, if she exists, will come forward and make herself a bundle of money for being the mud shark girl. But until then, this one is mostly myth with a little bit of truth behind it. So that's our myth for today. Be sure to check back here every Thursday as I delve into some of the coolest stories in music history, and be here every day for all the music news, reviews, and knowledge you'll ever need. Whoa!